So what is understood from the low diversity factor is that the diversity should be as high as possible. So I can have one more thing if whatever we saw in the previous graph, the previous graph was like this. So rather than having a single peak in the maximum one, I can have a peak like this. If the area of the both the triangles are same, suppose, or like this, or I can have a graph like this also for my load factor. So since the graph is going up and is almost a constant right now, so the diversity factor will be higher and the the installed capacity of the system will be coming down and as the installed capacity is coming down and as the diversity factor is going up at that time what will happen my is the cost of installation of my total system will come down and i'll be able to produce my electricity as economical as possible and if i'm able to increase the diversity factor if i'm able to increase the, the plant capacity factor at that time the uh, energy which is coming out of the generator or which is coming out of the synchronous alternator will be of a very low cost and that if it is of low cost it will be economical for the consumer to use it so the diversity factor and the plant capacity factor should be as high as possible so you now coming to the plant capacity factor what exactly is the plant capacity factor? What is plant capacity factor? It is the average demand divided by the rated system capacity. Plant capacity factor should be as high as possible. We can see that if the average demand is high, at that time the plant capacity factor increases. If the rated system capacity increases but the, but the average demand is low, at that time the plant capacity factor will be low. So I am not using the fully the full capacity of my plant. So if I am designing a plant of 100 megawatt and I am using, always I am using it for 30, 40 megawatt only. So I am wasting the 60 megawatt which that could have been produced. But since it is not required to do 60 megawatt, so I have wasted that 60 megawatt and the plant capacity factor at that time will be lesser. And since the plant capacity factor will be lesser, and one more thing will be there that the, the system which is right now working on 30-40 megawatts will be producing electricity of higher cost and that will be actually delivered to the end customer. So I should be having as high as possible the plant capacity factor can be. So one more thing which is called the plant utilization factor. <coughs> Another thing which is called the plant utilization factor is actually the maximum demand divided by the rated system capacity. It's called the ratio of maximum demand to the rated system capacity. One can clearly see from the plant utilization factor that is called the PUF, plant utilization factor, that if the maximum demand is all is equal, 
to the rated system capacity, the plant utilization factor will be 100% or one at a time. And that is the ideal system which we can reduce. So for that, I should be having a load curve somewhat like this. If the total installed capacity is equal to the maximum demand of the system. I suppose this is my maximum demand and this is also as my rated system capacity. So at that time the plant utilization factor will be 1. And since this is also average demand, so at that time the plant capacity factor would be as high as possible. So it's also equal to the plant capacity factor. The plant utilization factor and plant capacity factor would be equal if the average demand and the maximum demand coincides. That is very much rare, that is not practically possible in a system. But theoretically, it is possible to have a plant capacity factor is equal to plant utilization factor only and only when, when the average demand and the maximum demand coincide, or the average demand and the maximum demand are same. <coughs> so these two formulas are very much important regarding objective type of questions. The one is the, called the plant capacity factor, which is equal to the average demand to the rated system capacity. Another is called the plant utilization factor, which is equal to the maximum demand divided by the total the system capacity or the rated system capacity. So these two should be as high as possible. So plant capacity factor and plant utilization factor should be as high as possible. One more thing which comes here is called the loss factor. What is called as a loss factor? <clears throat> loss factor is called as the ratio of average power loss to the power loss at P load. So, normally we are having losses any time, at the starting of the day also, at the maximum time also, at the, uh, the when the load is minimum. Every time we are having losses, as we have seen in, in the case of transformer that in the distribution transformers, we have losses, iron losses all the time. So, power losses increase or decrease according to the load, but we have 24 hours losses. So, the loss factor also increases or decreases according to the load. So, we have average power loss which is actually the loss which is in the average form and the power loss at the peak load. So, if the peak load power loss increases, the loss factor, loss factor decreases and if the average power loss is increasing, the loss factor also increase it and which is not desirable, the loss factor should be as low as possible. So the power loss as peak load should increase rather than the average power loss. So this is all almost all the formulas for the load characteristics and we have discussed all the almost all the load characteristics.